Hi, this is Shade Frey with TaxSalesSupport.com. I'm here with Steven Swenson, and this is one of our Deal of the Week videos, uh, where we go and look at different properties um, that uh, that come across or different deals uh, that, that we see that are worth pointing out, um, in, I guess, in both um, in cases where it's a great deal or in cases where there's something to point out about it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, like Shade said, we like to review different deals, uh, kind of go through them. And and today we're going to be talking about uh, a New York tax sale that that just took place uh, within this last month or so. Uh, now, this first property we can see ended up winning for around thirty three thousand dollars. And it looks like it's a, a kind of a gas station, uh, you know, um, type building. Yeah, which, you know, there are we see a fair number of gas stations that come up in in tax sales like this um and and there are you know there's reasons for that um you know that have to do with uh, you know they're usually old gas stations you know that we see you know gas stations that um that were probably you know no longer functional i mean occasionally we see functional gas stations too i guess that sell um but it, you know most of the time where we see gas stations they're no longer functional they're just uh you know but you can tell that they used to be gas stations yeah, for sure. And as far as looking at the value, it says it has a value of about 133000 So, you know, there's a potential of $100,000 of potential profit in there. One thing we also like to look at is is the year built. And we can see, you know, part of it was built in 1990, part of it was built in 1950. And in looking at it, uh, you know, even in looking at the, the particular building, it almost looks like there might be uh, an apartment up above. You can see how there's also uh, some steps that go up there. I don't know if that's the case or not, but we're going to look at these county photos and try to glean as much information as we can out of them, because really this is, uh, you know, this is going to tell us a lot in looking at the condition of the property. Is it currently being used or any potential risks that we can see, you know, uh, aside from just those gas tanks, uh, which could be a serious worry, depending on if they've had any spillage or not. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it, it could be uh, being lived in. You know, that's that's a possibility with um, with this property. It may be basically kind of like a residential property now. Um, but yeah, it, the tanks though are would you know there's a, a good chance those tanks are an issue, or at least if they're not an issue now, that they could become an issue in the future. Um, you know, and so that's definitely something that we would that we would look into um, on it. Now, um, outside of of the tanks, you know, um, there's quite a few things about the property that are attractive like where it's located at and and uh uh and you know i mean for um for uh even for residential property in a way it still has a good location yeah yeah absolutely in fact there's a, a lot that sold that lot right next to it sold as well uh to the right there's kind of a you know a lot between them but there was that parking lot as well and this is commercial property so uh, depending on, like Shade said, with the tank, there could be possibility right there. It's right there next to the river. In fact, I think that there's a, um, you know, um, like a trailhead uh, close by, you know, some pretty falls. So it's, it's kind of a, you know, definitely a place people go and hike. And you may have a commercial property there that could cater to different types of people that, that uh, might come and visit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In fact, yeah, the, um, things like that can be very attractive or appealing, you know, to uh, to people, and could also give it potential use. And so this one's kind of an interesting property in that it has um, it has a variety of pros and and cons. Um, you know, the price that they paid for it was probably a, you know a pretty good price. Um, you know, but it, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, you've got the you know you've got the gas pumps. Uh, you know, I mean, the you know the basically the, the underground tanks that may need to be removed and that could be pretty expensive by itself. Yeah, yeah, like Shade said, you know, it's it's located in in a scenic small town. You know, it is it, it like I mentioned, it is zone commercial, so we may have other possibilities we could use there. And and we'd have to see about that apartment. We'd look into the county records more, uh, you know, do an on-site evaluation. And also with a commercial property like this, we're going to look up the address as well and see if we can find out a little bit more of the history of the building, you know, what what 
you know, the, 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 the gas station, I think it was actually kind of a country store or something like that. You know, what, what its business was maybe when it went out of business with a commercial property, we're going to try to find as much information about it as we can. In addition to that, like Shay talked about having those gas pump, those gas tanks there, you know, if it's just getting them removed, you know, I was looking, it could be, you know, uh, thirty thousand dollars or so twenty to thirty uh but if there's any that's just for getting them removed uh the cost if there's any type of of of, of leakage or things then you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars so you know with this type of a property you'd really need to check the epa website yeah yeah in fact uh, you know contamination it would be a, a, you know, a potential issue it'd be one of those things that you'd want to look into the history a little bit of the property to see if if the local jurisdiction had um you know had had said anything about it or if there had been any kind of checks in fact it'd be nice if you could see um you know if you could see a little bit more about the you know the history of it and um and and what the uh, i guess what the requirements would be with it you know and so yeah and, and also like steve was saying um you know it's it'd be easier to take it out before it has any kind of leaks so that would be nice if you could take it out before there's contamination but once there is contamination you know that's an additional issue you have to deal with because then you're not only paying to try to get it cleaned up but you're also paying potential fees and things like that to the government you know uh, that, that's that's fining you for it you know she had actually brought up a good point in contacting the city this is definitely something we would contact the city because they would know they would know when it was last in business and they can maybe be able to give us some additional insight into buying this type of property because it, it has you know, a high risk, but it also has reward uh, in in level as well by the the amount they paid for it, and and the usability that you might be able to have with it. But there's also risk, and so we definitely need to check into those before you know buying a property like this. Yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, and uh, be sure to look out for more. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again.